All right, good morning. What I was good morning. What I was expecting to be a uh, continuation of just throwing stuff in and waxing lyric at about the wonderful uh, Gudgeon pillar I'm broken, which is really annoying. Um, squeezing through onto the new piston. Um, partly my fault. There was a burr in the middle of the piston that I've had to just sort out. Um, but yeah, really irritating that. Um, still works. It's got a wedge, a thin flat, or anything under there. I've used a. Uh, just a push bike tool. That's a really thin flat spanner. Wedge that under there. Clamp that off, and works a treat. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so real pain in the arse, <laughs> I bust it, I might try and, uh, in fact I am going to try and fix it because it is really useful, uh, to see if I can get another couple of goes out of it. But, on the bright side, after uh, this bike just keeps fucking fighting me, but I have the new piston on, put the piston rings on last night, uh, I still need to put the clip on the other side, I must remember to do that, and then I'm going to try and put the header back on. Coolia. Right, okay, so next, piston on. Let's start putting the head back together. Um, the piston rings obviously uh, expand uh, with heat when they're on, so they need to be compressed to get them back through. As usual, I don't have the right tool for it, so I'm trying to compress the lot at the same time. Just grabbed a bit of a soft drink to can. Um, try and compress them and I'll try and slide them down at the same time. The difficult bit here is going to be getting a angle on the camera. So, excuse the bouncing around a little bit and see what I can do. Right, so excuse the dodgy camera angle. That's as good as I'm going to get. So you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see. So I'm going to feed this back through. I'm trying to keep tension on the uh, chain or reasonable tension on you, not let it drop back into the uh, bulk of the engine. Um, you have to feed it through. I did see something about chucking the bag through to make it easier to grab. So, a bit of a Heath Robinson solution, but you never know. Simple ones are quite often the best. So, just off shot, because I can't really move the camera. Just poking that bad boy through. I wish I wasn't lazy and thoroughly stripped it down, but hey, kind of everything. Let's try that again. Without the manifold getting in the way. Come on, you swine. So many things to just get in the way. Hmm. Well, that works quite nicely, that. Um, bag on the chain effort. Right, this is going to be a bull's ache. And I will apologise in advance for the copious amounts of swearing that are about to follow. But that is the way. Oh, that bag's quite a good trick. Not quite sure how I would have done it otherwise. I'm just going to bang a screwdriver on to end so it doesn't drop. So that is now through and resting on the piston. There's no good angle to do this from. It would be if I took the engine off, which 100% hindsight probably would have been a good idea. Tidying up after myself would have been as well. Right, so 
area behind this. I think this is just ease myself down. Take it easy without stripping the new piston uh, rings. I have no idea whether or not this is actually going on because. Lean on the bikes, he's on his side to stand. starter but it's now in my way. That was a good idea mate but it was shit in execution so it's now plugging it. Right, well, let's just do it a piece at a time. Yeah, well that was fucking easier than I expected it. I didn't need all that shit Fandango stuff. He says now it's jammed. Gotta love plastic cuffs. force and probably more ignorance than was used than was needed has seem to be getting somewhere get that jobs are good on. I have a piston chains in I just need a little bit of a Tap, 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 just as house it. I'm going to lean on this and it's going to fucking fall on me. I can see it coming because the side stand is shit. search for the mallet is over. It's in the garden, last used by one son to terrorise another one. That seems to be reasonably secure. Close enough for government work. Next. Uh, other end. Which, yeah, that's a good point. What I haven't done is given that a bit of a gouse out, so I'll give that a bit of a clean, clean the edges up before I bang it on. Right, so only obviously not perfect, but damn sight better than it was. Right, I'm just trying to squeeze this bad boy back on. Where's my carrier bag gone? That was quite useful last time. Got it. Uh, Indian 
well, you say. Disappeared around the garage. Got it? Right. Okay, so trusty carrier bag on. <laughs> Check I'm putting it on the right way. I'm pulling through the chain, trying to get everything lined up without catching every hose known to man. It seems to be more difficult than it should be. Try not to twist the chain as well. the bloody lower chain guard. Thought that was all going a bit well. Or chain guard, chain stay I should say. so well too. Oh well. Ah, do it right, Baker. Sorted. <sighs> Chain gathered. That way up. This is bloody fiddly. Try not to leave shreds of plastic lying around. Don't want to fuck that up. Oh, my 
my thighs. The bomb tray keeps just pulling out. There we go. And just catching that, which is fucking irritating. Alright, there we go. Right, it's on. Sip of tea. I'll try and mount it properly because it's not on properly. Oh. Nah. Job, as they say, is a good one. Right. Bad boy bolt. And bad boy bolt. On and on. Yeah, look at that. For once I've actually got the right tool to hand. Well, right tool, the tool that does the job. says confidently whilst he has actually got the wrong one yes he has I think it's all over. Just spotted that plastic housing. I can't remember what order I took stuff off, which is a bit daft. And I don't think I filmed it. I've got a feeling that since I've hooked the chain up, I might be better off putting the plastic housing back on um, before I in itself is going to be a sign of confidence because if it don't work I'll have to take it off again. <laughs> right. right now if I 
I remember, this is a bull's egg. That was off first. So was it in there? Right, the chain tensioner is loosened. My arm is probably going to be massive in the way of the camera here, but do what we can do. I did manage to just manhandle this off last time. remembering to do diagonals. Thank you Charlie. Right, I'm either getting old or spending too much time sat at a desk because my back is freaking killing me. So I'm going to have a bit of a stretch off before I uh, try and tighten those up. I think it's then plastics because they are a bull's ache and I'm going to be swearing a lot so I don't know whether I'll film it. Um, then the cap on, exhaust on, carbon, <laughs> carbon, uh, and then see what happens. Ah, right, also need to tighten up the. Uh, uh, chain tensioner. Or the one here. Right, I'm going to take a stretch and do exactly that. Right, nothing quite going to plan. I've got a stoppage, so I'm not sure how much you can see there, but uh, where's the camera? Yeah. So the chain is getting wrapped up around the guide there, which means it's locking out, so I'm going to have to dismantle back to work out where that's actually stuck. <sighs> this bike just keeps fighting me. Back over again, everything really carefully. I think it might have been because I didn't have the flywheel in the right place, but uh, now it's not sticking. Well, it says it's sticking now because it's some bloody filming. Rotation, see the engine, uh, exhaust, sorry. Yeah, so it might have been the clean out, it might have been having it in the right place. Gonna throw it all back together while I throw the phone on charge, it's gonna die. Alright, okay, so we're all back together. Better. <laughs> um, so, still hasn't got the airbox cover on, but the airbox is in it. Um, I've replaced the crappy. Um, uh, 
uh, one night jubilees, whatever they're called for the uh, when you originally get them very close to me. It's a good size jubilee kit. Um, it's blowing an absolute hoon the outside, so I've just dragged it into the garage a little bit. I'm desperate to do a compression test, but I'm also too impatient to find out whether or not this is actually too heavy. So we'll give it a go and see what happens.
cooking for a couple of minutes, I think. Let it burn itself out. It's the first time in, what, seven years, I think. And a lot of graft, so I'm just going to let it do its thing for a little while. Exhaust is pretty fucked, <laughs> one way or another. Um, still needs a new tyre, although I now um, can morally justify myself doing the tyre because I know the engine works. I didn't want to do it before I knew I could get it some life out of it. Um, got a bit of sorting out on this end, uh, including the speedo cable that's actually snapped the ring off, so I'll have to sort that out through some way or another. Some Uber Bosch. Uh, yeah. And throw bits back on it. But no, happy. Next job, get that wheel off and get tyre on it so I can actually see whether or not it moves. Ah, yeah. And I do need to sort out that brake as well. I've half taken it off. Um, but kind of half hearted because I didn't know if the engine was going to work. But no, I'm quite pleased. Awesome. Perseverance winning out. Ha, ha, ha.